Now on the internet, Matt Hawes and Happy star in another intriguing episode of The Happy Show. Welcome to The Happy Show. You will be so pleased to know. We are here every week. So come along and take a peek. Show. I'm your host, Matt Halls, and this is Happy, the Happy Show Puppet. Oh boy, Happy, we're going to have a whole bunch of fun things on today's show. I can't wait to get started. How about you? And, uh... Monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Who's that monkey? Hey, monkey key, is that... Is that some relative of yours? I I think we'll, we'll go, just go ahead and get started with the show. I don't really know who that is. Hey, would you like to buy a monkey? Yes! <laughs> Midnight. One more night without sleeping. Watching. What's going on in there? So an eyeball being bit through a smoky cloud behind the green door. When I said you'll send me someone laughed aloud behind the green door. All I want to do is join the happy crowd behind the green door. Today, I have a special guest that I'm going to be interviewing, especially for your viewing pleasure. Would you please welcome a wonderful guest and a wonderful friend of mine, Crazy Cat Pete. Where is he? Come on, Pete. Pete. Oh, Here he is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pete. Crazy How are you today? Uh, woo! Crazy cat, play! Meow! <laughs> woo! Oh, well, he's always been uh, loud. <laughs> so, so, Pete, firstly, I, I want to know who is your. Guess what? Guess what? 
I was hey. skating down a roar cycle Shut up. and I found some Mickey's. And they, ooh, uh oh, uh oh. There's a camera over there. There's a camera. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, hello. Very the sorry. The chickens, <laughs> they said. Crazy. And I said, No, no, chickens. we don't want to hear about the chickens. And they said, Let's sit with him Oh, chickens. we just gave him to the oh. laundromat to be look, warm. Pete, um, no, when oh, you and I last oh, spoke, oh, there was you're a... you're silly. Like, you're silly makers. Oh, 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 Face. Hey, there is uh, the boy Wonder's lair. We're going to go over there and see if they've seen him. He's been missing for quite some time. We think possibly tragic victim of the Riddler. He may have gotten caught with his pants down, so to speak. Batman. They got wings. You know where there's birds, there's cats. I can smell them out. Do you think she really works there? Who? Catwoman. Sure. You still have a thing for her, don't you? Yes. She broke my heart. And then she stole it. I told you, nothing to worry about. You gotta come out in the day more often. This is the 22nd interview with Batman. Hey guys, here for all you need. We We're looking here. We're here Here's looking for. I love wings. I love wings. I can't get enough wings. You're here for Selena. I know why you're here, Batman. Don't you think you need some jewelry? Yeah. Some jewelry? Bling bling to the Batman. Some bling bling? I love Batman. Fellas, we cannot do this enough. Do you think that maybe he could get a mall security position? No. 
You need to take the mask off. You need to do. You need to do with that. Shut that off. All right. Shut it off. All right. Hey, Batman. Man, good to see. You. Uh, you usually not on the daylight. Yeah. See, uh, I lost my job. All these Marvel guys are so so good. And now I'm I'm getting laid off. You're gonna like get in trouble, dude. You're gonna get like kicked out of here, man. You know what? What are you on something? Or? I just I gained so much weight. You it's so it. frustrating. You, well, I, I, my two movies, I didn't get crap for. Copyright infringement. They stole everything from me. I heard you got laid off. Got the city. Yeah. Now I got this new game called Arkham Asylum. Like it's gonna be some set up their thing. And I'm screwed. They're I'm not getting no money. Not getting no royalties off that. No. Joker's getting everything. You tricked them all. That. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to sue him. I can't. Well, don't give up, man. You still got your uniform. Kinda. It's shrunk at the dry cleaners. Clayton's screwed you. Yeah. I don't know what to do about it though. It's kind of snug, you know. Yeah, your trusty cup. Hey, protection. Me and Batgirl we had a thing. And Catwoman. Yeah, I heard you went down oh. the Hooters today. Oh, I miss Catwoman. She wasn't there. With my red robin looking for Robin, but he wasn't there. I just lost everybody. We went by Chick-fil-A and the bird wasn't there. I'm just missing everybody. I think Batman might be having a, some sort of breakdown. Oh, please. Please, God, let take me back. It's all right. I need it's something right. to it's do. Right. It's all right. It's all right, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seriously, seriously, seriously. It's all right. Come down. Oh, thank you. Do you have my boy Blubber? I need, a, I need a replacement. So who owns this store anyways? I do. You do? I I do. I own this store. Well, yeah, it's Marvel it's stuff. my man. store. Because Marvel rocks, Batman. I'm sorry oh, to say. that's just an insult. You haven't been on your game. That's all I'm saying. See, Star Wars. That's a place to go. Star Wars? You like your... Marvel, life? no! Can't look I, at it! Don't touch your stuff, Batman. See? This is good. Superman. This, we got this, but see, they don't, they don't sell. They don't sell. They should! You need to go back to the gray Everyone and blue. Everyone loved Batman at one time. You need to go back to the gray and blue. You need to go, Batman, what are you doing? Bat ear. What are you That's how I get all my chicks. The chicks dig the outfit. Okay. At least they used to. They, Batman put on a few pounds. Huh? Few. Uh, well, like a few 80 pounds. Are you, Ken, is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. Are you looking for something particular? Poster. What kind? Of the Joker. All right. Yeah, that's a hottie right there. I agree. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man's <laughs> got to be in the scene. And the Flash, the fastest idiot alive. Gosh, you can run so fast. Wish I would have picked up these pounds. I used to be able to run too. Cobra. The Transformers. Yeah. Stewie. Oh, with the Green Lantern. I need some superpowers. Batman's so weak, he has nothing. Nothing he can do special. He just fights crime. Woo! Who wants to see some crime fighter go out in a tubby outfit, huh? Okay. And then we got the Simpsons. Da, 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 da. No, seriously, Batman, I'm about to close up. Is there anything I can do? I mean, can I, uh, can I help you find something? I mean, uh, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. He's your old pal, isn't he? Yeah, sure, why not? And Wonder Woman. Oh, that's a looker right there. Oh, I'd love to hang her up in my portrait. The Joker used to be right here, probably, huh? You don't have him back there? Huh? I think that some guy in a clown costume came in and earlier today. He's... He was on the Joker area. got away, like always. Well, I'm off to the Batmobile. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Thanks, thanks for coming in, Batman. No respect for Batman! This is such crap! No one respects the Batman! Hi, I'm Matt Halls, host of The Happy Show. 
You know, there's nothing I love better in the world than sitting down to enjoy myself a big bowl of Happy Show Imaginary Brand Gelatin. Mmm, that sweet imaginary gelatin brand flavor. You may be wondering, what is it about Happy Show Imaginary Brand Gelatin that I would prefer it over all the other real gelatin brands out there? Well, for one thing, Happy Show Imaginary Brand Gelatin is not made from extracting the bone marrow from the carcasses of dead cows and pigs. And then there's that great imaginary flavor. And you see that rich red flavor that the cherry and strawberry flavors have in Happy Show Imaginary Brand Gelatin? Well, guess what? That is derived from the finest imaginary fruits and it's not derived from the pigment that they get from crushing thousands of bugs in the powder like they do with the other real brands. So if you want a real treat that won't make you gag at the ingredients, Happy Show Imaginary Brand Gelatin's the only real choice. Happy Show Imaginary mm. Brand Gelatin. What you see is what you get. Our brand is never made with cow and pig bones or colored with grounded dead bugs. If I only had the guts If I only had the nerve If I only had the heart If I only had the soul I know I could make it work No, I really can't deny it I hardly have the strength to try it But I know I must go on And I can't stop it till I'm done If I want her here beside me What is it with both of you? This is crazy. Little Teddy, Kooky, you gotta stop this fighting. You're both like brothers. You both, you, you gotta learn to love each other and get along. Are you gonna stop the fighting? Are you two gonna get along now? Well, that's good. That's nice. Okay, I wanna see you two hug and make up, all right? Go ahead, hug and make up. Okay, that's the way I wanna see you two act. I don't want any more fighting. You gotta remember that you love one another and just get along, alright? Alright. I made a sculpture today. It represents how I feel about the world.
I call it life. <laughs> Represents all the alienation in the world. Man. And he man. Man. This is hope. The light right there. And that's to show that there's still hope in life. I don't believe it though. I just put it there. We're all suffocating, so this is bag. A bag because we can't breathe. Because of all the hatred. <laughs> Hello! Hello, here we are again. Happy show, London! Okay! Hey! Alright, here we go. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, we had uh, something happen to us last night. You know, we were outside of Buckingham Palace and we wanted, you know, to we, tell the word. We were being harassed by the man. We were being harassed by the man. We were being oppressed. Like, oh. Yeah. Why can't they leave your kids alone? Just let us piss on things, okay? We might have been hucking some rocks in some windows. Anyway, all right. I we, thought I thought it improved the neighborhood. It didn't matter what people think. All right. We were just doing our thing, you know, being punks. All right. So you know, we had it all caught on film. You know, my friend Reggie's cell phone, but it was really dark and it didn't turn out very well. So we're gonna have to reenact it for you here. You know, for those of you. you know, Oh yeah, I want to mention here. Hey, we got some new neck tattoos, and here they are. Look at them. They knew the fire. They go all the way down to my bits. Red chest. And, uh, it's it's like your flame. It's really not unlike that. Not unlike that at all. Not that you know. Give me red hair. Put my red gold hair down. It's a little bit more white. Yeah. So that's new. It. <laughs> What is this? Looks like someone else got him a little tattoo that's... as well! No, no, that's Where did not you get that? That's just a small dirt! No, <laughs> small dirt? No, we no. should all take a look, let's take... No, no, yes. no. That's not what... It's a bloody... Egg. It's a Pikachu! That's, that's not very that's... punk! What that's are you... Not... Don't do it! You're a Pikachu! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! The reenactment of oh, the last night, fucking your ballast. Shut up! Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, what an invigorating night of hucking rocks at Buckingham Palace. It was indeed a splendid evening of anarchy. Fun was had by all. Anarchy, anarchy. It's a lovelier decor, I think. Yes, we sprucing it up a bit with our yarin on the grass. Hey, hmm. what, what was this lot then, you spotty gits? Where? Hey, look at those two over there. Hucking rocks and pooping on things and such. Yeah, now, we won't have any more of this. Hey. Oh, no. It's a fascist. Bloody hell. Hey, right, what is it with you lot then? What are you up to? Oh, no. We're goners. We're going to run you in, we are! Who, Who will, will save, save us, us now? Oi! It's in Vicious is Ghost! Alright! It's in Vicious is Ghost! Oi! Bug off, fascist! He's too punk for us! Blimey, we can't handle him! Let's get out of here! Right! Thank, Thank you, you 
say it, but he should have said it, cows. Me work here is done. Another victory for Anarchy. Pretty much how it was. Another victory for anarchy against fascism. So, if you enjoyed it, we got Pikachu. See you next time. Yeah. Son, we need to talk. Yeah, okay. Talk. Don't dismiss me. You know I love your mother. And I love you. No, you, you don't. No, don't dismiss. You're too quick to dismiss. I'm not dismissing. You don't love- You are my you son! Do you do are not, my son! I am not <gasps> your son! <sighs> don't cry. Please don't cry. We can just not go I'm sorry. Crying. You're not I'm sorry. sorry not That's the problem. You're not sorry. And you are not my father. I love you so much. Talk to my friends right now, okay? Can't I be your friend? No. no. <laughs> please stop. Please, please stop the whining. You are my son! No. Cut! I Cut! Oh. What, was it too much crying? What did I do? Well, I was off again, wasn't I? Oh no, oh, dude, the energy we had, I thought... I, I keep missing the beat, I, though, I'm not on the beat. I thought I cried yeah. too much. I'm, I'm sorry, it... but, you know, I, I just, there was just a few things, a few suggestions. We were talking this over, and this scene... What? what? We? What do you mean? I thought you were getting along with Oh. We, we were, I just we had were, we were both, me and the orangutan. That's it's... Oh, that was, is that you? No, it wasn't me. Okay. Oh. oh. But, uh, but, yeah, we were talking, you know, this thing... Time out, scene, time out, the wait, monkey. Yeah. The scene is getting kind of heavy. What about the whole... Who's directing the movie now? Is it you, the monkey, or what? It's... Well, I'm the director, but he's producing Producing? The oh. Yeah. He was just a hack two weeks ago. Now he's anybody the producer. Produce. He's not a hack. No he worked for Juilliard. Juilliard. Oh, again with the Juilliard. Don't. Monkey. You two. This beard. You two just don't get along. First it was a doggone union. Now it's the stupid puppet guild. Oh, he, it's not its not that, it's just a orangutan, you know, he, it's just he, orangutan. He, has, he just has some suggestions. Take a bath, that, that smells too much. He just wants, just wants a few puppets, <laughs> a few more puppets to lighten the mood. A few? Because it's kind of, it's yeah. always puppets, more puppets. The Writer's Guild rules only call for one puppet. Well, what did he do? What, what, what is on the ground? That's on it. my pants, that's, it. that's, that's on it. my pants. Where is my agent? <sighs> I thought you, I thought you got that kicked. Hello viewers of the Happy Show Network. Again, I'm Al Chantry. The last time I was here, the interview didn't quite work out the way I had planned. But today, we're going to have a very distinguished and established member of the Happy Show Network community. Would you please welcome a wonderful friend of mine and a beautiful person. Happy the Happy Show Puppet. There you see already he's here on time. Didn't make me wait. <laughs> so so happy um, what's it like working with Mr. Hawes? <laughs> Look I <laughs> I know your gimmick on the show itself but it is to be mostly mute, but you don't be mute with me. Are you going to speak? This is an interview. Look, look, the Crazy Cat Pete interview was one thing, you know, but please don't, 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 don't screw me around. Say something! All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. The way the way you do it on the Happy Show, you you whisper to Matt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whisper to me. W would that would that be easy for you? It would. Oh, it would. Okay, we'll, we'll do that then. Okay. Yeah. Is that all right? Okay. Oh, I guess I have to ask you a question first. Well, I already did. 
already did. I asked you what, how you get on with Matt Hawes, okay? So, answer me. How much are you getting paid for this? I've always gathered that, that Happy was this easygoing, you know, this easygoing guy with, with, who already had a, a, a hefty wad in his pocket. Or whatever you have down there. Look, how do you get on with Matt Horse? Do you, do you have a, you know, in real life, do you have the same chemistry between yourselves like you do on, on what? Why am I talking that way? Because I'm trying to do an interview. I'm trying to be professional here. So you going to answer my question now, or, or do you want me to ask it again? Where are you going? Hey! Oi! Puppet! Where? I have never been so insulted in all of my professional career. It's 10.30. This is God. Attention! Arise! What? What the hell? Who turned on the spotlight? It's no spotlight, Dave. It's me, God. The Supreme Being. The Lord. Him with a capital H. Oh, God. Believe me, Dave. I'm it. I've seen God before. You're not just a pile of light. Listen Dave, you haven't seen God, you've seen movies. That's the main reason I'm here now. I want to prove God isn't like that. I'm God, not Brad Pitt. I don't understand. Couldn't you just come down here and discuss it over lunch? No, that's precisely my point. God doesn't discuss things over lunch. What does it take to get through to you? I'm the creator of the universe. A true religious figurehead. Not just the guy next door. I've been commercialized against my will. My image of a thousand years shot to hell. What's your language? Why? Hell, hell, hell. What are you going to do about it? No, sit down and listen to me. Okay, don't lose your head. I have no head. I'm God. Let's hear your story then. And don't patronize me. Can you turn that light off yet? Okay, I'm sorry, go on. Good. I want you to stop my reputation as a commoner. People these days refer me much too casually. I'm no longer the ultimate being, the creator. People regard me as some sort of cartoon character. I certainly don't need that. I command respect. I want things to be like they were when people went to church every Sunday to pray to me. Now, the only time my name comes up is in swear words. Or oh, when they sneeze. What? Oh, guess I'm right. What does that have to do with me? I think it's God bless you in German. Uh, you get my point. Um, I just want you to change all of that. But... Worried about your job? Aren't you forgetting something? I'm God. I'm not worried about money, it's just that... What's this? I just gave you 100,000 quid tax free. I don't even get a thank you. God doesn't give money away every day, you know. I appreciate everything you're doing to me, but... It... God, I'm confused. I'm floating here, just a massive of light, talking to you. How can you say you don't believe in me? You're not sleeping, you know. Well, it's hard to explain. I've never really argued that the fact that there is or isn't a God. Okay, but you can't very well deny that I exist now, can you? I'm not really the right candidate. So what am I supposed to do? Get a priest? You think I haven't tried that? It doesn't work. It's their job to tell people they speak to God. Nobody takes extra notice when one of them claims that God actually spoke back. What makes you think they'll notice me? You're perfect. You said yourself you never denied the possibility, but you're not religious. They'd listen to you. Show them the faded carpet, prove that God exists, and he's not an old house bee. I'm very much as still is. Tell them that I'm the real God, just like the book. Nothing has changed. Tell everybody to worship me again. They'll believe you. You're a nobody. 
Right. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that exactly, but it's true. They will notice you. It will hit the papers. You're wrong. If I tell a reporter, they'll ask for the phone. Then go find the funny phone. So tell them you don't own a phone. I understand that messenger concepts already been used. Why don't you do something original, like... A miracle? Ah, I knew you were going to say that. That's just a solution to everything. Let me tell you something, Dave. Nobody pays me to be God, you know. My budget was shot to hell creating mountains. I don't have the money to produce miracles. Anything I could whip up could be reproduced in Hollywood for half of my price. And they'd probably do it better with top name stars. Put me on. You've just given me... 100,000 quid at the most? That was a fluke. I found that money on the floor. I'm sorry, Dave. You're going to have to be a messenger. You're my friend. If I refuse? Then you'll wake up tomorrow as a dwarfed elm tree. Um, I'll do it on one condition. What is it you want? Can we discuss it over lunch? My eyes can't take much more of this light. Well... My treat? Can I have anything at all? Anything. Hi there, people of TV Land! I'm Mark May, the general manager here at Instacup Television. We want you to know that we have no control of this program and we do not endorse it in any way. In fact, we have been trying our best to schedule it so that you never have to see it. So remember, we have nothing to do with this program and we wish it would just go away just like you. So don't hold it against us. Bye bye. Good evening, I'm Matthew Hawes, anchor for the Happy Show News, here with a special weather report. We'll be taking you live to meteorologist David W. Johnson, who will give the lowdown on the weather you can expect in the next few days. I should explain that due to some technical difficulties, we do not have the video feed, but we do have the audio. The audio feed is still live with us, so we'll be going ahead and going to David just here in a second. I think he... Okay, yeah, yeah, I think he's ready to go. David... Uh, what can you tell us about the weather that people can expect for the coming week? We sure do have a cornucopia of weather moving into the area tonight, into the tri-state area and the greater surrounding metropolitan areas. First off, the mist we have right now and the other slight rain will turn into more heavier showers as the night develops. We look forward to thunder showers in the early hours of the night, developing into harder and stronger storms with frontline winds of 50 to 70 and even 80 miles an hour. Now, the real weather tomorrow, all the serious weather we have to look forward to, is tomorrow afternoon. We expect there to be some tornadoes developing after the strong showers and thunderstorms. expect there to be about a, a Category 5 tornado. We're expecting there to be about 30 to 70 tornadoes tomorrow within this area. So it's looking like most definitely it is going to be a wicker basket full of collected cheeses of weather development. But that's not all, Matt. The very worst weather, the top shelf weather we're looking forward to, the worst of all, will develop tomorrow in the early evening hours, developing up until midnight of tomorrow night, which and therefore we can expect to see, yes, natural tremors, tremors developing into major earthquakes. I repeat, major earthquake, Matt, so starting out at 6-6, six, six, moving up to a 7 on the Richter scale, we end up to 10, we believe. More like a 10.10 .10 earthquake to be then. That will be followed by a hurricane mixed with meteorites and sulfur and blood, which will be falling down, mixed with hail, mingled with hail also. So it looks to be pretty bad and pretty serious, but that's not all. Afterwards, we there to be strong shifts in the continents and development of uh, world wars and death and famine and utter and ultimate destruction, Matt. That's how it looks like it's going to shake up between tonight, uh, tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow at midnight, Matt. What do you suggest to our viewers who may be planning to do something in the next few days? How should they prepare for this weather? Pray. That's some sound advice there, David. Thank you. That was David W. Johnson, the meteorologist for Happy Show News, and I am your anchor, Matthew Halls, for the Happy Show News. Thank you for tuning in to the Special Weather Report, and we now take you to your regular programming. Hi, kids. Hope you enjoy the next segment of the Happy Show coming at you right now. Whoa. Hi, this is Matt from the Happy Show, and I, I wanted to appeal to you, the viewers here of the Happy Show, the audience members out there, because, well, there's something that, that happened recently, and it's kind of distressed me, and and uh, 
this is gonna be a serious matter. I hope you'll forgive me because I know the happy show is usually yeah, you know and all that stuff. But uh, there's there was this thing where well you see a friend of mine he was helping me to find uh, a projector right you know he was looking for an eight millimeter projector for me because I was talking about like how my my mother has. A relative that may have some home footage of her when she was younger, and it was, but it's on eight millimeter. And I was talking about how we should transfer that and all this sort of thing. And uh, he he started looking for eight millimeter projector for me, which was awesome and cool. Uh, I I don't know that I needed really to transfer the stuff because I could probably take it someplace and have that done, but that still would be cool, right? And uh, he did find me a sixteen millimeter projector. It was awesome. It's cool. I still need a ticket reel for that, but. There's something even more important now. Now he did find me an eight millimeter film, and I don't have that projector. I don't have the eight millimeter projector, so I can't play it. And and I really want to play this film. So, you know, if you guys want to like, you know, if you have an eight millimeter projector, or maybe you want to like send me a million dollars or something, or I don't know how much they cost. It's something, you know. But if you can help me, because look, it's zippy. Zippy the monkey, and it says beach adventure, and I can't watch, watch it because I, sixteen millimeter won't play an eight millimeter. But look, oh, all this zippy goodness! I can, I can almost make out little zippy when I look, when I look up like this. I can kind of see zippy, but I can't really watch it. Look how thin that is, and it won't fit on my projector. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> look at him. Zippy the chimp. He's talk. He's talking on telephone. Zippy's talking on telephone. Look. I wonder if that's in here. I don't know why you have a telephone at the beach. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, what the? I um. Well, if if you could, you know, look, that's pretty long. He's got. He's gonna have a big day at the beach. So if you don't mind. Uh, get in contact with me at the www.thehappyshow.net and, and let me know if you have an 8mm projector uh, if you just want to get rid of it or something maybe uh, this ain't soliciting I just, you know, I mean it's just, it's just if you want to do it I'm not forcing you or nothing jeez <laughs> no wait a minute oh, I, think, I think that's a parrot
feeling so pretty. Life is but a dream. Live it, little lady knows what I mean. She's a mango girl. She's a mango girl. So the last two interviews were kind of, uh, well, shall we say, dull. Well, I'm gonna have one more try here. Would you please welcome my special guest, Cookie the Koala. Okay, Kooky, right off the bat, are you going to speak? Matthew, are all of your characters and cast members silent? Okay, Kooky, is it true that you stole a hundred grand from Happy? I know it never happened. I'm trying to make it less dull than the last two interviews. Kooky, answer my question. Everybody seems to be looking at me quite kind of strange right now. Like I'm the dumb one. <laughs> Enough. This is over. You're telling me something now, people. This is very unprofessional. You're messing with Al Chantry. But kick a supreme. And I tell you what, Matthew, if this happens again, I'm going to break your bottom. <laughs>